got so many other things going wrong right now. Um, really bad news today. The swelling in the eye is really bad. And there she is. Good morning, welcome to the vlog today. We are in a bit of a stressful situation here. Um, now to note, I was never part of the big fiasco of buying Taylor Swift tickets, but I feel like this is what it was like. We are trying to register Ender for summer camp, and okay. Oh, start over. Maybe she did registration. <laughs> we are having so many problems. Let's just say, if you would have just stuck to one screen and waited in line, there would be a problem. Um, there's been some issues here. We keep getting kicked out and they're going. You know, it's first come, first serve. It opened up at 6 a.m. If something like this is happening, don't be like, I'm going to open it on every single invite a device in the whole house. That's what happened to us. Okay, oh wish us luck. Okay, I'm happy to report that it only took us 40 minutes to register for summer camp. We started at 6 a.m. What thoughts and emotions are going through your mind right now as we just register our son for summer camp? I just, I feel like it doesn't need to be this hard. <laughs> and there we're in. We're in. My, Done. My idea works. And you get to be with your friends. You Yay. got one friend there. How about it? How about it, buddy? Go pack your bags. And you better love it because there's no refunds. In 15 days. What? No. Um, In longer than 40 that. days. 45 days. Okay. Cookie. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, no, no, no. Not in there. Heading out to take EB to her appointment. Shh, shh, hold um, on. Uh, it's been an interesting morning. Alice was asleep or passed out in our bathroom, and she's not feeling well, so we gave her some electrolytes. We might get her to the hospital in a little bit. We're, we think maybe she's just low on electrolytes. That's my theory. Ambry slept in. Fine, Daddy, taking her now. Um, what? I'm the one that wants a new, um, the new light that we got. Um, that are upstairs. Okay. New ones in my room. All right. Um, but yeah, hopefully Alice is okay. She's sleeping a little bit. We'll see um, about taking her in a little bit later. She wanted to kind of sleep it off and just wait a little bit to see if she can. Starting to feel better. So, but I'm taking EB to the eye center first. Hour and 15 minutes away. All right, oh, his car broke. We made the journey downtown. Frank said he wanted to come. They've been playing games the whole way. You guys ready? Let's do eyes on three. One, two, three, eyes. Good, let's go. Face and count my fingers if you see them. Two, one, five, six, one. Cover your other eye, please. Look here. Uh-huh. One, five, five, six, one. Oh, it's that one. I just know it. I just know it. Oh, I was right. I was right. See? We got so many other things going wrong right now. Um, really bad news today. The swelling in the eye is really bad. Um, even the doctor was surprised. He's like, I expected this to you to be quiet today and not to see this so this is just a really crappy thing to happen. Evie's fine, she's not worried about it but we have to treat her eyes um, there's some inflammation in her eyes and we have to get drops that he was recommending drops that we put in every two hours and I'm like she goes to school I, we can't just go every two hours but we got it down to four times a day 
So I guess before and after school, I don't know. Um, maybe we'll have to go to school once a, once a day, but gosh, I'm so sad. It's a bummer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on an adventure. We got the house clean and Alice is staying home. We're still figuring out what to do with her. She's like, I don't want to go to the hospital yet. Let's see how I feel tomorrow. Well, she did have a fever today. And all the symptoms we have, we don't really know what's going on with her. So we're just monitoring her and tell you what, did not look good this morning when she was just like, apparently. She got dizzy and sat down, but it's because she then had she fell a asleep fever. and because yeah. she didn't sleep last night. So it just didn't look good. I was like, time is psychologically real, though time is not fun. But I was just like, April, you better come take a look at this. And we got her up and got her some medicine and still figuring Maybe stuff out. He just out. looks at me and I could see in his face. He was terrified. He's like, come here, come here. <laughs> um, we're going to watch our good friend, Kira. Um, you might remember her from such videos as videos in Mexico and videos in Lake Powell with them. And we call her Kiki Mama. Um, we love her. She's amazing <laughs> and she's gonna find out where she's gonna be a missionary at tonight So let's go see the chamois. See what's Fun going on fact, with them. They do not get to choose where they go. Yep. They, you can kind of they ask you a few questions like do you want to learn a language? Would you want to go to another country? And and, and that still it's not a guarantee It's not like if you say you want to learn a language you're gonna learn a language but we're gonna go find out where she's going it tonight. The yes, it helps. So, um, yeah, we've got almost the whole family here. It had to be. <laughs> and there she is. <laughs> Hi, kid. Okay, everybody's making the guesses. Ender guest Hawaii. Nice. I just want to say, first of all, I am overwhelmed with the people that showed up and all the love that I feel in this room tonight. I, we're going to start with singing um, the Sisters in Zion and Arms of Healing Medley. So, boys and girls, we're all together. And this is really Thank you for singing that song with me. It's very few times that I sing that song, and I don't feel the spirit, especially when I'm singing it with the group of people that has got me to this point in my life where I am. Um, I want to, before I open my call, I just want to bear a quick testimony. First, I want to tell everybody in here that this afternoon I opened my call. And um, instead of just clicking in your mission portal, instead of clicking that you accept it, they have to write an acceptance letter. And um, I want to read to you my small testimony that I wrote in my acceptance letter um, to my mission president and to the church office building. I said, Dear brothers, let me start by saying I know the Lord has called me, and it is, the, it is the greatest honor of my life to have the opportunity to wear a badge that says I bring souls back to Jesus Christ full time. I know my purpose, I know my Savior, and I know my God. I will prepare to give the people of blank, not only a year and a half, not only a year and a half of my life, but also my heart and all of my strength. I believe in my Savior and in the work I am about to be a part of full-time, but I also believe in people. I promise to help bring back as many souls <coughs> to heaven and back to my Jesus and my Heavenly Father as I possibly can. Because I know there are people out there who don't know that God loves them, who don't know God sees them, who don't know Jesus is their Savior or their friend or their advocate. There's a mom out there who's just lost her baby and no one's told her that she gets to see that baby again. There's a boy who feels so unloved and forgotten by the world that he doesn't know if it's worth living in it. There's a man and a woman and a boy and a girl and countless people who know life is hard and they know they can't do it by themselves but they have no clue where to begin looking for rest and for help. There are people out there who don't know my Jesus. And when you get to know me, you'll know that I almost always refer to, my, to Jesus Christ as my Jesus because I like to call him mine as he calls me his. But to sum up the reason why I'm accepting this call today and serving this mission is because I know there are people out there who don't know my Jesus. Is there Jesus too? See you very soon, Sister Shammy. <laughs> Dear Sister Shammy, you are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You have been recommended as one worthy to represent the Lord as a minister of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. 
You will be an official representative of the church. As such, you will be expected to honor the covenants you have made with your Heavenly Father, keep the commandments, maintain the highest standards of conduct, and follow the righteous counsel of your mission president. As you devote your time and attention to serving the Lord, leaving behind all other personal affairs, you will be blessed with increased knowledge and a testimony of Jesus Christ and his restored gospel. Your purpose will be to invite others to come unto Christ by helping them receive the restored gospel through faith in Jesus Christ and his atonement, repentance, baptism, receiving the gifts of the Holy Ghost, and enduring to the end. As you serve with all your heart, might, mind, and strength, the Lord will lead you to those who will hear his message. They, too, can then have the opportunity to receive sacred ordinances and make covenants with your Heavenly Father. You are assigned to labor in the Texas-Houston Mission. Oh my God. <laughs> Alright guys, wrapping up the vlog now. That was so fun seeing Kira find out where she's going on a mission. We have known that family since before Kira was born. So a long time we've known them. I'm very proud of her and yeah, we're going to the vlog now. Thanks for watching, finding and everything. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Also, sorry I was missing from the vlog today. I got the news of Evie and fell on the floor and cried like a baby. So, you guys might think I'm being dramatic. But I'm not. I'm devastated. Well. All right, Frank. First hike. We got this first hike with the baby. We've been hanging onto this thing. It's been used very little. <laughs> Evie got to use it a couple yeah, right. times. Okay, let's do this, Ender. One more bottle flip. Nailed it. <laughs>